talking about that. We're also covering Colorado for you. Daily disease impacting bats discovered in the Colorado high country for the first time ever. White nose disease has spread since it was first detected in Colorado two years ago in the southeast part of our state. The deadly fungus has already wiped out nearly 90% of the bat population on the east coast where the infections first started a decade ago. Your reporter in the mountain, Spencer Wilson, takes us to the latest location where researchers have found white nose syndrome and explains why the bats on the western side of the state may fare better than bats on the eastern side. To first understand what's happening, you have to understand why bats are dying. The fungus, called Pseudogymnoascus destructans, covers the bats' nose and wings. That not only wakes them up in the middle of their hibernation and expends their fat stores, essentially starving them, but it actually gets into the tissue itself, which blocks blood flow and stops thermal regulation. It's a bad situation. The bats end up dying. The big issue here is that it spreads by contact, and bats tend to like to group together. We've already seen white nose syndrome, or WNS, near La Junta and in Otero County. This is the first time researchers have found it at this high of an elevation, where moose stand in the snow, at the Holsworth Historic Site in the Rocky Mountain National Park in Grand County. It means that the fungus is continuing to spread throughout Colorado, and this one is significant in that it has crossed the continental divide. Michelle Verant has been working on WNS for more than a decade and knows the kind of devastation it can bring to the entire ecosystem when it affects bats. They're vital for healthy ecosystems. They consume enormous quantities of insects. For example, a single little brown bat um, can eat up to a thousand insects in an hour. That kind of pest control is valued up to $22 billion worth a year in the U.S. alone. The spread of WNS has been a long fight that bats are mostly losing. There has been a roller coaster of despair and hope. Caves that once held thousands of bats now, maybe we find one. One of those hopes is that the bats on the western side of the Continental Divide may not snuggle up like the bats on the eastern side of Colorado do between a bigger variation of species that don't mingle, as well as craggy, rocky environment that makes it harder for big bat colonies to hang out together and then spread the fungus to each other. Researchers are also still pushing development to potentially slow or stop the growth of the fungus altogether. But until then, bats will continue to die in huge numbers. And we could see that here soon in Colorado, in Grand County. Spencer Wilson, covering Colorado first. Spencer covers the stories impacting communities all across the mountains. He's a busy guy, recently reporting in Steamboat Springs, Georgetown, and Breckenridge, and Leadville. Let's get things over to First Alert Chief Meteorologist Dave.